So I know, Vince, you haven't seen A Quiet Place 1? No, I haven't. Get out of here. All right, I'm leaving. You don't belong here. <laughs> now we'll See make you guys. Sure to, we'll make sure to keep this spoiler free alone. You have seen A Quiet Place. Right. Big fan? I liked it. Oh, okay. I thought you loved it. I loved A Quiet Place. I mean, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. All right. Well, A Quiet Place 2 comes out on March 20th, so we're just a couple of weeks away. A Quiet Place 2, just like the first one, was written and directed by John Krasinski. It brings back most of the original cast, including Emily Blunt, and adds to the mix Cillian Murphy, who is an awesome actor. He's great. He is, yeah. He When I heard his casting, that gave me a little extra hope for this movie, because I feel like he is a serious actor, and I don't know why, but in my head, he just has a lot of integrity, and I feel like he wouldn't take a role if the movie was going to be terrible. He, he's one of those actors where, like, I think that I enjoy a movie more just by him being in it. Like, I love I love him in Batman Begins. Scarecrow. And, and I love him in uh, 28 Days Later. Which Don't have any one, cheeseburgers. Yeah, one, one of my favorite, favorite movies lines. of all time and favorite <laughs> lines. <laughs> uh, so we're starting to get some early buzz. They've started screening the movie for critics. And I think they haven't lifted the embargo yet where they're allowed to release full reviews but they are allowed to go on social media and give just high-level takes on the movie. So just a couple of examples I picked out from Twitter. Uh, Kate Erbland from IndieWire. This is her tweet. A Quiet Place Part 2, a worthy, world-expanding follow-up that builds on the original and finds its own thrills, chills, and emotions in the process. Audiences should still be banned from eating crunchy snacks during any and all screenings. <laughs> it really was hard to eat popcorn during that movie. Yeah. Because you had to you were so conscientious conscientious of every bite. Right. Is that movie is all <laughs> about being quiet because any sound attracts vicious creatures and monsters. So it's very much about being quiet. So I know Vince, you love chowing down on just handfuls of popcorn in the middle of the movie. <laughs> Let's get another one from Sean O'Connell. He's a critic who's published in a, a bunch of different publications. He says, how does John Krasinski already have Spielberg level chops? Hashtag a quiet place Two is a fantastic and deserves to be a massive hit. Finds exciting ways to further explore this terrifying environment and is bigger, but still tense as hell. So I am psyched for this movie, and I know for some reason lately, the running time of movies seems to be making headlines. Like it came out recently that uh, No Time to Die was going to be the longest James Bond movie yet. New Mutants is going to be the shortest X-Men movie yet. So I know, Alon, you are chomping at the bit to find out how long is A Quiet Place 2? How long is it? Well, A Quiet Place 1 was one hour and 30 minutes. Ooh. A Quiet Place 2? One hour and 36 minutes. So we're getting an extra six minutes of tense goodness. Hmm. So I am super excited for this movie. <laughs> it's, it's, it's one of those movies where I did not expect a sequel at all. Especially not this quickly. A Quiet Place 1 only came out in 2018. And I feel like with a horror movie, when you get a follow-up, it's pretty rare for all of the original cast or most of the original cast to come back. It also just doesn't feel like the kind of movie that was begging for a sequel. Like, for some reason in my mind, I kind of compare this to 28 Days Later. I felt like it was sort of similar in tone where it's a horror movie, but I think it could appeal to some non-horror fans. It's not super gory or anything like that. So it's not the kind of movie where I would expect a sequel and we're getting one. Not only that, it sounds like it's going to be as amazing and as awesome as the first one. So I'm psyched for this movie. And Vince, I think you've got to watch A Quiet Place 1. It's only 90 minutes. And then you can enjoy A Quiet Place 2. I'll uh, go to A Quiet Place and watch. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Very nice. And uh, I just want to add, John Krasinski, he is the man. He was so good in The Office. And then we find out that he's actually not just funny. He's a great actor, a great writer, a great director. There's a lot of talk of him potentially joining the MCU. So I don't know if you're aware, but back when Captain America was being produced, he was one of the guys who was up for the role. Huh. I think he got so far along in the process, he tried on the suit. He said, I think he told some story where he was trying on the Captain America outfit, 
And then like Chris Hemsworth walked by a store and he's like, all right, I, I don't belong here. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right now there's a lot of rumors or at a minimum, a lot of fans who want him to play Reed Richards, the head of the Fantastic Four, because you know, Disney purchasing Fox means they get the rights to X-Men back and they get the rights to Fantastic Four back. So we know the Fantastic Four will be joining the MCU. A lot of people want John Krasinski to play that role. Personally, I think that'd be cool, but I kind of don't want that to happen because I love A Quiet Place and I love that he's doing original work. So I want to see him keep doing that. I don't want to see him get locked down into big budget superhero movies. But then again, he wants the role. And uh, who am I to stop him? <laughs> Maybe he can do both. Maybe. I mean, I guess he... You know what? I guess that's the best of both worlds. If he can play Reed Richards and keep making original movies, that would be great. Any other thoughts on A Quiet Place 2, Alan? I'm excited. I am curious where this is all going. Right. It didn't seem like... We said it already, but it didn't seem like an obvious... What do you? Where do you go next mm-hmm. with this movie? But can't wait. We can always use more good horror movies. I feel like there's not enough of that. Mm-hmm. 